Hello there, everybody. This is the Ottoman Platypus here today, and I am going to cover the forest early access. It's in early access right now, so a lot of games are in early access, and I have a lot of early access games, and now it's summer, and I really want to start making reviews of them. The forest is probably my newest addition to my collection of games since it's my newest Steam game. So I want to go over it because I really do like this game. But there are some issues with it, of course, so I want to review it and say if it's worthy of being purchased or if it's not worthy of being purchased. Well, I'll just go over, first of all, what the game's about. It is a survival horror game. I would say it's more on the survival side because it's, as of now, I mean, it's actually, no, it's pretty freaking scary. So it's a horror game, but it's not a linear storyline. It's There's barely any story so far, and there's going to be more story aspects, but it's still a randomly gener generated world. So you, every time you start over the game, it's different. You get in there, and you can craft stuff right now, since it's really, it's really early access. So you can't craft very much stuff. But uh, you can build a few different houses. You can build a campfire, or like multiple different kinds of campfires. You can build some things. So you, you'll be able to build. It's kind of like the rust system of building. It's not like Minecraft. You, can't, you don't place blocks, and the world's not made of blocks. But you can build houses, like in Rust. It, it They both run on the Unity engine, I'm fairly certain. So, I think that's... I don't know, they look... They look kind of similar, visually, a little bit. I don't know. Just... The forest, you can build stuff. It's very customizable. You can kind of just choose how you want to play the game. But then... There's also these cannibals, that's where the horror part comes into it. And these cannibals, freaking vicious. And right now, I mean, their pathfinding's kind of strange, and they function a little bit oddly. But, they can climb trees, which is hella creepy. I mean, I remember I was walking through the forest, the one's like, bent over in a bush like, eating something. I don't know what he was eating. It was really freaking scary. I think he was eating, like, a body or something. <laughs> then he, like, turns around, just looks me right in the eyes. I beat him to death with an axe, like, I bludgeoned him in the face because those guys are freaking scary. I just repeatedly smashed his face in with an axe. But then his friends come along, and they're just like, you killed my friend! Except they don't actually talk, of course, because they, uh... Don't talk. No, they don't know the English language. But anyway, like, they gangbanged me. It was in the middle of the night, because I had no idea how to play the game. I was just... I got beat to death. It was horrible. I assume I was eaten afterwards. But then I respawned. So, I mean, it's not permadeath. I think they're, they're planning on making a permadeath option. And right now, it's only single player. The game is only single player. Uh, but I... It's still really cool. They're planning on co-op. That would be amazing. I could imagine... I could just imagine your friend. If you say you're playing with a friend of yours. And he gets carried away by these cannibals. And they have him in a cave. You can just hear his screams through the night. Reverberating through the, through the trees, through the forest. Oh, that would be so creepy. And by the way, the... F like, the... the uh, the map, the uh, aesthetics of the world looks really good. It looks like you're in a real forest, and it looks like a real-life situation. The forest is really well done. The bushes are nice. The graphics are really good. Um, the audio is well done. It sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah, like as I said, the, f the story is really... Uh, that this is only like one part of the story that's the very beginning every time you spawn you spawn in a plane and you the plane crashes and of course it's randomly generated so the plane's always in a different spot when it crashes and there's a son that uh, your uh, you, we assume it's the guy's son or some close relative to him clutched to his arm so that's why we everybody thinks that they're related somehow or they have a close relationship 
but the kid gets taken away, and we don't know what happens to the kid ever. We, you don't find out yet. You don't find him in the cave or anything. But right now, I mean, you just there's not much to do, honestly. Uh, you just survive, and you beat these guys to death. Oh, well, there is actually a flare gun right now, which uh, has infinite ammo. <laughs> but I don't know. They'll probably fix that. There's gonna be an update today on the forest. Uh, I uh, yeah. There's gonna be an update. They have these right when you open the game. You see when it's gonna update and everything. You just you, so it's right now. It's uh, alpha v point zero one. So it's literally the first alpha, and it's gonna they're updating to point zero two tomorrow today, and. I wonder what they're going to add, but I, I just wanted to make th the video. So it's up there, and people can watch what I think of the game. And I don't, it, it has so much potential. Right now, it's pretty, pretty damn good. It's really freaking creepy. These guys, in the, in the daytime, they're really not that scary. They're just weird. But in the nighttime, that's when you, you're just going to get scared out of your mind. So I just sleep through the night. That's all. That's how. That's how I get through it. Uh, it's creepy. It's really, it's really well done. That part of it's really well done. And of course, there's tons of bugs right now. Like they need to be fixed, and they've fixed a few of them. But they have a scheduled updates for tomorrow. I'm assuming they're gonna fix. Well, n not tomorrow. I'm recording it on Saturday, and the video is going up today on Sunday. Well, it's, for me, it's not today, but wh whatever. It's really confusing to think in the future tense while making it sound like I'm actually in the present tense. Whatever. Well, when this game updates to V0.2, I'm assuming they're going to add some good things. I have no idea. I probably should have made this video later, but I wanted to get it up there. And I really like the game, and it's current state there's not much to do but i i'm definitely excited for what's to come co-op especially that will be awesome and i'm just really excited for it to be done i think it's definitely worth a look if you want to purchase if you want to support the developers definitely buy it because i think they have a lot of potential and i know that's said a lot with early access games and sometimes it doesn't actually work but it looks like they're gonna do a pretty good job I mean, right when they uh, uh, right when they published the game, the save function wasn't working, but they fixed that the day after, so that was good. They fixed some other bugs, too, like right away. I don't really know why they released without knowing about those bugs, but maybe it was a Steam thing. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I think it's definitely worth a look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. You can see the game in the background, and of course, it's not the full quality of what you're uh, gonna see when you buy the game on your own computer because YouTube doesn't it just, it just doesn't show the full quality it never has it never will actually I don't know about never will but it always is a little bit pixelated it just never shows the full quality so that's basically what the game looks like anyway thank you for watching and hope you have a fantastic day